Hey guys, before you watch the video on doing the oil change on this T-Boss, um, I just want to let you guys know a couple of things. First off, I could have uh, edited it into about a 10 minute video showing you how to do it, um, but I wanted to kind of keep it raw and let you know and see the problems that you may run into. Uh, first and foremost, if this is the first one that you've done, uh, like the first uh, factory oil change, um, I highly recommend a funnel longer than this um, and a piece of hose that you can connect to the funnel and to the oil fill, okay? Don't even, you will save yourself so much headache if you just go to this parts store and buy some of that before you get started. Um, and a oil filter cap style wrench, okay? Um, the filters are 65 to 68 millimeter sized cap wrench this is going to make your life so much easier um, but go ahead enjoy watching me suffer and take way too long trying to fill this thing with oil but keep that in mind don't even start the job until you get these enjoy the video all right guys let's change the oil on this thing first oil change i checked it it looks super clean but it's got about 150 something miles on it I think uh, I'd rather be sick and sorry and, and go ahead and change it. it. It looks brand new, but any sort of new break-in engine particles and things like that, let's let's get this stuff changed and, and, and some new in there. Um, I couldn't find any good videos on how to do this. Um, I don't know how to do it. We're going to do it how I normally do stuff, which is just kind of go ahead first and, and figure it out. Uh, it's a simple oil change. I've changed oil on about, I don't know, 737,212 vehicles give or take. Um, so it's gotta be about the same. Couldn't find, I couldn't even find a capacity on how much this stuff takes. This is a 2021 T-Boss 550. Um, so, you know, if you got this, let, let's figure this out together. Uh, so I went to Massimo's website and they sell this exact kit right here. Two quarts of oil and this filter. All right, for $38. Comes with two quarts of oil and a filter. I'm assuming it takes two quarts of oil, all right? That's that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna check it and make sure that it seems right once we change it, but it's, it can't be more than that or they'd sell it with more. Um, so I'm thinking it holds two quarts of oil. It makes sense being about a 500 cc, uh, just based on like my motorcycle knowledge and stuff, so it seems about right. And then your little filter here, there's your part number. Pause on that guy and look it up if you'd like. Um, again, this is $38 on Massimo's website. I think you can get on Amazon too. I actually have an Orschelins in my town uh, and they carry this stuff and it's actually cheaper in store, which is kind of kind of rare these days. Um, the filter is kind of expensive though, it's 15 bucks and these were six or $7 a piece. So what is that, uh, let's see, 14, about 30 bucks. So it saves eight, $8 before shipping. So, you know, maybe 15 bucks, 20 bucks total, which that's a pretty good deal. Um, the only thing that I've done so far is I've jacked up the um, I've jacked up the vehicle and I figured out that the drain plug is a 17 millimeter and there's a there's a kind of a provision a hole down there in the skid plate for it you can't miss it um, the other only thing that I've done is I popped off the seat it just pulls right off you guys know that by now um, the drain plug in this thing boys whew, they uh I don't think they like big hands getting into here. I don't even know if you can see it. Um, you can, okay, so look, the black squished up rubber thing, there's a little yellow lid down there with a line on it. That's the dipstick and the fill area. That thing really sucks to get to. They should have came up with something better than that. Um, but anyways, yeah, you just pop the seat off, kind of look straight down, and you're gonna see this I, for, I forget what they call these I'm, I'm blanking but this squishy rubber thing and right way down there underneath that is the oil dipstick and where you fill it make sure you guys have a long skinny funnel you're gonna need it and again drain plug 17 mil um, so let's go ahead I'm gonna get a drain pan let you guys look at that drain plug bolt and see if we can pop that thing off and get this stuff to drain um, I'm going to let the engine warm up for a few minutes first off camera because you want your engine to be a little bit warm 
Uh, not hot, just warm, get the oil nice and flowy so it, it drains faster and, and more thoroughly. So I'm gonna do that, get a drain pan, and I'll be right back. All right guys, I got this thing warmed up a little bit. Just let it run for about five minutes. You know it's done when the garage is nice and fumigated for you and you know, you just got that. Uh, just breathe it in. Actually, don't do that. Just kidding, I had a fan blowing and the garage door's open. Um, so let's crawl under here. Again, 17 millimeter. I got my drain pan under there. Let's see if, uh, see if this thing comes loose. We're doing this real time, kind of. I'm not going to be able to do this holding the phone, probably, but I at least want to show you where the bolt is. All right, so this plastic skid plate, all right, with the ribs in it, that hole right there, that circle hole, that's where the 17 millimeter drain plug is. We're just going to line my pan up with that, get her draining. And uh, then we'll move on to the oil filter. All right, let's do it. Maybe I can set you up down here. Probably not. I don't know, I can't see where that's at, but if it sucks, I won't use it. Jeez. Crap you're loose. Busted a knuckle almost. Don't do that. Alrighty, hopefully that goes in my pan and not all over well, not all over the floor. I don't know if there's a crush washer on this or not either. We're gonna learn. Uh, there we go. Going in the pan. I don't know if you guys can tell, you can't, but that's actually still really clean oil. But I like to change it anyway when it's new like this because you do get some uh, kind of some break in wear and some, some little metal flakes are possible. Here's the plug. It doesn't look like there's a magnet on it. If there is, there's nothing on it. Focus. Focus. So there is a washer. This one looks like it's in good shape. I'm going to reuse it. We're going to let that drain all the way before we uh, throw that, that thing in. And since I'm doing this on video, I'm going to wait to do the filter. Normally I would go ahead and get the filter loose and drain that too. But uh, once that's done draining, we'll tighten that thing back up. And when you tighten the drain plug fellers, you don't have to go all Hercules on them. You want them just snugged up to where you don't get leaks. They will naturally tighten up a little bit with the heat. So keep that in mind. If you do your car, your in mowers, anything, you don't do not Hercules and freaking hit these drain plugs on impact. Just snug them up. All right, so we got our 17 mil drain plug back in. Once you get to a slow drip, go ahead and throw her back in. And again, just snug her down. You don't have to go balls to the wall with it. And I'm about to give you the biggest tip of the day. Now, you don't have to do this, but it definitely helps. And that is, if you're not a freaking idiot, and you don't forget, I forgot to open my freaking, uh, I forgot to open the, 
the fill on my oil pan, my drain pan. Uh, so don't do that. Top tip. There we go. Looking better already. I'm going to let that thing sit there for a minute. All right. So again, 17 mil drain plug is back, tightened, oil is drained. We're about to move on to the filter. And uh, I'll show you a couple different things that we got in case we need them. I'm not going to say it's required. I haven't taken the filter off yet. But sometimes these things are on so freaking tight that you almost have no choice. Um, so let's go take a look at that. All right, so with it, with the oil filter, you got a few different options. You can get it off by hand, which is a perfect world. If you do it properly, you can always get these back off via just using your hand, okay? You don't have to be the strongest person in the world, but it, it, you know, strong grip definitely helps, or, or gloves. Either like latex gloves like these, um, or something that gives you a lot more gription on the filter than just bare hand. Sometimes bare hand won't cut it. But get a little extra grip and your hand can take them off. That's in a perfect world. I am hopefully prepared for the worst if this thing doesn't come off by hand. I have oil filter vice grip pliers. I have this oil filter wrench. Okay, this is a 65 to 68 millimeter and it, it fits right on there real nice. And this thing is, uh, you got two options to use it. You can use a 19 millimeter wrench Basically, you'll put it on the filter, and if you got room, you can torque it off like that with your wrench. Or, you can just throw your 3 8 inch socket or ratchet on there and use it that way as like a giant socket. Again, don't know if we're going to need these, but that is kind of worst case scenario. Let's, uh, let's bring her down and, and try to get that filter off. Before I set you on the tripod, I want you guys to look at where the filter is, where you are on the passenger side of the vehicle. Come on down up above the rear passenger tire. There's where I got my jack stand on the frame right there. The oil filter is right here, okay? It's not too bad to get to. It looks like it's behind the coolant hose. Um, so getting the wrench on there may not be, we may not have room if we need to use that, but we're gonna get it off regardless. And I just thought of something else. Um, if I had it, I would use it. I don't have any at the moment, but it looks like this is going to be a messy oil change or oil filter change, I should say. Um, a little tip, if you have aluminum foil, you can make a makeshift funnel, if you will. You'll, you'll kind of stuff it up under at an angle to where you can drain it into your pan via like a hole like that or, or fish it down here somewhere. And the oil, fil the oil will just kind of follow that aluminum foil so you won't get it all over your vehicle. Um, again, that's probably the best way to do it. I don't have that handy right now. So we're probably just going to make a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. You know, it's kind of part of it sometimes. Um, so let's, uh, let's see if I can pop you in on the tripod and let's see if we can get this filter off. All right, I got some light on there for you so you can see. Um, it's kind of tight in there with the light and the camera and stuff, but we'll, we'll give it the best. See if we can't get it off of there. Ideally, I would probably be under it a little bit more, maybe even take the tire off, because the way I got this camera, I can't really get, I can't really get any leverage via hand right here. But I want you guys to kind of be able to see, hopefully. No, there's no way. There's no way I'm going to be able to budge that with that crappy amount of leverage. So, uh, let's make use of one of these tools. Yeah, this water, this, this coolant pipe is in our way for that. Should be able to use these. Hopefully. 
Sometimes you got to get creative with how you position these tools because nothing ever seems to want to just go perfectly. All we got to do is crack it loose. That's all we're worried about. So I got my vice grips on there, my vice grip pliers. Jeez Louise. Guys, these filters should never be this tight. They, they, they heat, it's like the drain plug. They heat up and seal a little bit better after you initially put them on. I've had to do this all type of ways before. Nope, that way it's not gonna work. Are we sure we can't get this on? Oh, oh we're in there. I got that sucker on now. Again, all I gotta do is break it loose and then it'll come off my hand. Oh my God. I think we're getting her, but she's not happy. Mostly crack loose. Hopefully I can get it by hand via this point. I gotta try to figure out how to put the drain pan under there because that's where my jack stand is. Um, again, we may just make a bit of a mess. Not ideal. I'm gonna try to avoid it. Let me... I don't know. Let me go grab some foil from the house, and uh, I'll be right back. I, I think that might be the play. All right, I'm back with some foil. There's no science to this. It may not even work on this application. But you, you literally just take and fold up some foil and try to, once I get this cracked loose, try to make the mess go where we want it to go. Is all we're trying to do here. And there's not going to be a ton of oil in there. It's a small filter. Um, let's see if I can just catch it all. Let's see. I'm going to make a little foil bowl here. That'll catch most of it. Some of it's going to fall on the floor. It just is what it is. 
Let's see if I can crack it loose now. Oh my god. I still can't get it by hand, you guys. It should never, ever, ever be that tight. There, jeez, it's so tight. That thing is way too tight. There was no way a hand was getting this one off. Zero chance. You guys see the oil down there in the bowl? It's kind of working. Whoops. I'm not a professional camera guy, y'all. So the uh, little foil bowl's working out pretty good. I don't see, nope, I lied. There is some on the floor, but not very much. Let's keep going. Now this filter says Lin High KM376. Uh, and then on this side, it says Lin High 05223. Oh my god, I've never felt a filter like this. Like even just unscrewing it, it just doesn't feel... It just doesn't feel right. This hose is getting our way. That doesn't help. Great. If you got tools, you might as well use them, right? thinking we're off of it but we're not it's kind of wedged in there with that water that coolant line there we go try not to dump this on the floor there's our filter as you can see there that says km376 on that side Let's see, what does it say? Replace it when working for every 100 hours. Hmm. Looks like a date code. And there's that part number, 35223. Or is that a zero? I think that was a zero, wouldn't it? I don't know, it's either 05223 or 35223. But we got the Massimo brand. This is the Lin High brand. I'm gonna dump this oil out. Not very much was in there. Just gonna let that drain. Our little bowl did a pretty good job. You know, got some oil in there. There it is leaking out a little bit, that's okay. You know, sometimes you just got to go with the flow, y'all. I'm trying to get better at that. You know, it's good for you. Go with the flow. Not the cleanest oil change I've ever had, but not the worst. The oil, uh, the aluminum foil definitely helped. I got a little tiny bit of crap down there. I'll put some towels on. 
Can't get to it. Now, it's going to leak out a little bit. That just is what it is. You're never going to get all the oil out. Um, so I'm just going to kind of shove this right here while we prep our new filter. Let's do that now. All right, you guys, here is our new filter. The steps are on it. Oil gasket, hand tighten only. Hand tighten only with a big arrow. Huh, maybe they should... Practice what they preach. That thing was on there way too tight for a guy. Uh, this filter also looks shallower. Let me see. No, I don't think it is. I think it's the same. But it comes with this little protector. Let's take that off. Pops right off. Now when they say oil gasket, um, what they mean is this rubber O-ring. That's what seals it, okay? You gotta put some oil, a little, just put some on your finger and just go around it a couple times and then it's gonna be ready to throw back in, okay? So I'm just gonna take some uh, old oil from the pan right here. See that? A little bit of oil. You don't need much. Just coat it, you know, smooth it on there. Boom. See that? That's all you need. I keep losing my rags. I didn't lose it. It's still here. All right. Uh, it's not a bad idea to throw a little bit of oil in this. You can't throw much in because the filter is sideways, so it's just going to dump right back out. But I'm actually going to dump just a like a into this. All right, got the wheel open. Remember our filter is lubed. Let's dump just a smidge of this in there. Oh yeah, look at that. Yes. That filter element in there is going to soak up some of it, okay? But the reason why you want to do this, sometimes you can fill it all the way up, depending on how the filter is mounted. But this one being sideways, it, it's not going to allow that. Uh, but basically on your first start after an oil change, it helps get the oil cycling faster. Uh, then pumping it through a, a dry filter area for a bit um, until the oil pump kicks in and starts pumping it through. But uh, I got, I don't know, I got some in there. We're just going to go with that. We're going to go ahead and get this bad boy on there. rag out of there okay so now we're, we're getting a little bit of resistance we're gonna go again I'm just using my fingers here I'm not super strong not real weak but okay so now it's it's, it's snug about as snug as I can get it just torquing on it like that okay I'm gonna let it sit for a second dry my hands off so I can get a good grip and I'm gonna give it, I don't know. I don't do it by science, I do it by feel, but if I had to guess, I'd say a quarter to a half turn more once it gets to this tightness, okay? If you change your oil in a car, you already know how to do this. This is just for people who maybe never have, you know, so this is a, this is how I learned how to change oil. I just dove right into it, okay? I, nobody taught me. Um, there's no way I'm going to pay somebody, a dealership $150 to do this when I can do it myself for, for $30, you know?
so now I'm torquing it a little bit more. And I feel pretty good with that. I could go tighter if I wanted, but that's like a good, not super leveraged tightness. Just a nice, a good solid snug. And then, you know, when you, when we fill it up and start it up and check for leaks, you know, we'll see it leaking if it's leaking, but it's, it's not going to leak with that. And like I said, it'll get a little bit tighter once it goes through a couple of heat cycles. You know, while you're in here, wipe down some stuff if you want. I got to do some work on the axle on this, so I'll be right back in here cleaning all this off, but. All right, guys, oil filter's back on and snug. We have no oil, but we are ready to fill it up. I gotta find me a long funnel because boy, we're gonna need her getting into where that thing is. So let me find that and uh, we'll start filling her up. All right, guys, we're back. I got you up in here the best I can. Um, I had to search for a funnel. I went ahead and measured it for you guys. This is the longest one that I got. Uh, it's 17 inches long and it, I think it's gonna be good. I mean, you, you really need a long funnel. Um, but I'm gonna try to point that light yellow thing. That's your dipstick and drain fill, uh, your oil fill, okay? That's what we gotta get to. So I'm gonna go ahead and bust her loose. I mean, it's hard to even get in here at all. I don't know, like, what the? What a nightmare. All right, jeez, got her. I always like to wipe it off, make sure there's nothing crazy on it. All right, there's your dipstick. Not super informative. Not very long, but that's what it is. Let's see if I can get this giant funnel down in there. Oh my gosh, I don't think it's gonna go. Well, I'll be. Uh, I wish this thing was like not here. If that thing wasn't here, it would be in there. Mm. Dang. Well, looks like we're just going to have to sell the truck. Let me check for another funnel. I don't, I don't, I think this is the longest one. I got this one that's like, <laughs> like floppy on the end. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be long enough though. Nope. Oh my gosh. What do they expect a guy to do? Oh no. Gah. Okay, the problem is that does us absolutely no good. Well, didn't think I'd spend 10 minutes doing this, y'all. Oh my 
my goodness. Guys, help me get this in there. Jeez. I mean, do you gotta disassemble stuff? I don't I don't understand. I mean, I can get this one in. Maybe I can do like a two funnel, a two funnel thing. I'd really like this thing out of there. I bet you we can pop this off. I just, I'd really, I don't really want to do that unless. What is that? Just a cotter pin? All right, guys. I think we might be going to plan B. That's what looks like a shift linkage. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to take there's a cotter pin right here, and I'm gonna try to slide this off and just see if that gives us what we need. Not a cotter pin. Ow, but a um You'll see what I mean when I get it. I think I need some pliers. Wait, is this? What kind, of, what kind of pin is this? Ow. I can't even get this pin out with where it's at. Let me try some different pliers. Nope. All right, I got it. This is a weird pen, okay? I, I don't know what this thing is, but let's see if we can slide it off now. So again, we're trying to get this thing out of our way. And that did basically nothing. Nice. That gave us a smidge more room, maybe. I don't think it's gonna be enough though. Let's give it a try. What? 
and the devil. Oh, okay, there we go. Jeez. All right. I, I've never experienced anything like this before. I got it in there. Let me unzoom you here. I got it in there. We're going to dump the oil right in here. And you can't see anything. It's so tight in here. But she's she's in there. So we did end up pulling that pin and pulling that shifter linkage off. It gave us just enough room to shove this funnel in here. I'm going to dump the two quarts of oil in this thing. And um, let's go from there. I just, I tell you, what did they, what did they expect a feller to do? Massimo. one that's a lot of work for two quarts of oil boys jeez I, I thought this was gonna be a 10 minute video I didn't know he's gonna be trying to put oil in it for 10 minutes You almost need like a like a big piece of clear line or something that you can hook up to a funnel out here. I don't know. Maybe I'll look into a little ingenuity for next time. But that's it. We got our uh, two quarts of oil in there. I didn't really spill much, which is good. Give that a couple of love taps. Spill it all over the place. All right, guys. Let's put the dipstick back in, and then we'll put our shifter linkage back on. Sorry if I'm blocking it, it's really tight in here. All right, that bad boy's back on. Let's get the washer and the little weird clip pin thing. I'm gonna use pliers, I think. Tighten that clip back. Or bend it back. Oh my gosh. You just can't get to nothing in here. I just want to tighten that clip.
All right, guys, shifter linkage is back on. We've got that stupid little clip thing in there. Dipstick's back in. I'm gonna start her up, let her run for a minute, and we're gonna check the oil level, and that's it. Job well done. Anybody can do this. If you, if you have a gigantic long funnel or some other means to get the oil in there, it's actually a pretty easy job. So let's uh, start it up, warm it up, check the level, and we're out of here. Guys, let's start her up, check for leaks, check the oil, and we're done. Get this garage door open. Leaks. The flashlight's dying. All right, no leaks. All right, guys, I'm gonna let it run for a minute. Check the oil. You just want it to be somewhere in those hash marks, preferably towards the top, on the little uh, like textured part of the dipstick. And if you need to add a little bit more, you can. But I, I think two courses is gonna be fine. Uh, I think that's about all I drained out of there, so that's it. Job well done, y'all. We'll see you next time.